terrifying scene inside a Walmart in Evansville, Indiana. Police say a former employee armed walking into the break room, telling his former co-workers to line up and then firing his weapon, shooting one of the workers. Police called to the scene of an active shooter and tonight the newly released body cam video showing heavily armed officers right there going aisle by aisle looking for the shooter. The gunman shooting at officers throughout the store. Frightened workers and customers running to the parking lot. Tonight, police say the gunman was, quote, all over the store during his 15-minute rampage before they found him and shot him dead. ABC's Alex Perez leading us off, and we warn everyone tonight, this is difficult. Tonight, newly released body camera video shows the heart-pounding moments officers race to confront a shooter inside this Walmart in Evansville, Indiana. Police searching aisle by aisle as panicked people inside ran for cover during the 15-minute rampage. Drop it! Drop it! Officers killing the gunman after a shootout as he tried to make a run for the exit. He's down! He was all over the store. Um, you know, he would shoot at officers and move. Authorities say it all started when 25-year-old Ronald Ray Mosley, a former employee, walked into a break room where workers were meeting, told everyone to line up against a wall, and shot a woman in the face. Another worker escaping to call 911. Shooter is currently shooting from the electronics area of Walmart. When the shooter left the break room to chase another man, police say the worker who called 911 then heroically rushed back to the break room and got victims to safety by locking the door. I have no doubt that he was going back to finish what he started and we would probably have a, a dead victim today instead of one that's alive. Court documents obtained by ABC News show that Mosley had exhibited violent behavior in that store before, allegedly attacking four co-workers last May. Just hours before last night's shooting, Mosley was in court to face battery charges in that case. And Alex Perez with us here tonight. Alex, what do we know about the condition of the worker who was shot? And authorities, I know, believe that this could have been much worse, Alex. How many people were actually in the store at the time? How many witnessed all this? Yeah, David, we're told that victim is in stable condition tonight. There were about 80 customers and workers inside the store, and 100 officers responded. Officials tonight saying they are lucky no one else was injured. David? No question about that. Alex Perez leading us off tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.